Risotto, what is it? Risotto is a slow cooked rice dish of Italian origin if I am correct. But it's a dish that a lot of people can be intimidated by. I'm gonna teach you that it's actually not that difficult. It's super simple to make. It's always a crowd pleaser and it goes wonderful with a rack of lamb. Let's get cracking. Alright, for risotto, all you really need are boreal rice, garlic, an onion, and some chicken stock, which I have over here. This is homemade chicken stock from a bird that I cooked up the other day. We're gonna throw it down and turn all of this into risotto. You can use store made or pre made chicken stock if that's all you can find. If you do use that, just get the low sodium version because it will get salty as that content starts to reduce and cook down over time. Anyway, let's add these ingredients to the pan. We're gonna go ahead. I'm going to start off with our onion here. I'm going to saute this up, let it caramelize a bit. Go a couple minutes. We don't want it to burn. If it burns, the entire dish will be ruined because that burn flavor will be ingrained in the rice. So, constantly stirring, break it down a little bit. As the onion continues to caramelize, we're gonna add in our minced garlic. Now this is five cloves of garlic minced up. Now a key, in for, or a key step when adding the garlic, stir even more. Garlic has a higher sugar content even than the onion and is very susceptible to burning. So. Right, arborio rice, a short grain rice. If you can't find it, you can use white rice, but your risotto will be much better if you can find arborio. Stay true to the Italian roots, people. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add our rice into the skillet here. We've got the rice here in the skillet with the garlic and onion. We're just sauteing it all together so it can kind of take on that garlic and onion flavor. I do not have white wine. Pro tip, if you do not have white wine, that's okay. Lemon works well. Really what you want is the acid content and that kind of acidic flavor. We're gonna go ahead, a little bit of lemon juice, and it doesn't take much when using lemon juice. So if, it, if I was using wine, I would probably use a cup of wine, maybe two cups of wine, depending on what type of party I'm trying to have. But lemon juice works just fine as well. So got that in there. At this point, it's just a matter of continually adding chicken stock until it's cooked through. So I like to start off with two cups of chicken stock and I don't stir it when I add it the first time. I really want the chicken flavor to just absorb into the rice. After that, once that's absorbed, we're gonna add rice every maybe five, 10 minutes as the stock absorbs until it's cooked through. Like I said, two cups of that stock. Little stir here. And I'm just gonna let this simmer until it's absorbed. Everyone says you need to stir risotto constantly. Does stirring it help release the starch content? Yes. Do you have to stir it like someone's beating you over the back if you stop? No, it should not be difficult. And it really isn't difficult. Low heat, a little bit of stirring, good stock, arborio rice, that's all you need. I'll catch you back up when this is dissolved or absorbed and we'll continue to add stock until it's done. Okay, so let's get a close up with this risotto right here. But as you can see, all that stock that I initially put in, the two cups worth, has reduced. It's already starting to thicken up. You can see when I drag a spoon across it, how thick that it's already getting as that glucose and starch content's released. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and continue to add one cup of stock at a time until this is basically al dente. We don't want this to be mush and we don't want it to be like eating little pebbles. It should be a fine, fine balance of, you know, kind of sticking to your teeth, but also chewing through, if that makes sense. And as I said before, I don't stir constantly. I'm stirring now, as I just added that. I'll just let it sit until it has gone ahead and actually reduced. But people say you have to stir constantly. Like I said, that's not true. Okay, so as you can see, our risotto here is nice, creamy. It's the perfect consistency and texture that we're looking for. Just to finish it off, I'm gonna go ahead, add a little pat of butter here. 
go ahead and stir that. I'm gonna let that melt in there. That's gonna add an extra level of creaminess and richness to it. I'm gonna go ahead, in addition to the butter, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little Parmesan cheese. Cheese? Oh. The cheese is gonna be our salt content in addition and also help it be a little extra creamy. So at this point, I'm just going to stir this until it's all nice and well and combined. I'll show you how we're going to plate all this up and come together and serve our lamb on top of it. But this risotto, nice, creamy, buttery, rich goodness, guaranteed to make everybody say, a mamma mia. And just so, if you didn't know, when you stir your risotto, it comes out extra good if you sing a song while you cook it. A la 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 Bonus points right there, know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit's about to be fire. <laughs> if you can't smell this, invest in smell a vision and step your game up. We got our risotto here and our lovely rack of lamb. We're gonna go ahead and start putting this together. So we're gonna go ahead and put down the risotto first here. We'll top the rack of lamb on that. And you can tell risotto's good if it rolls like a wave. What I mean by the wave technique is this. If I hit this, it should flatten out all along the plate. That's the consistency you want in your risotto, that thickness. It doesn't run like soup, sticks to the plate, but it does move like a wave, as you can see. Nice risotto, that's our base. 